Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Clinic work has started in Lake Van. Representative of State Department will visit Azerbaijan, Armenia and Georgia. 1,557 bodies were evacuated from the territories outside the control of Artsakh after the ceasefire, June 5 as World Environment Day. Clashes between Turkish forces and Kurdish militants continue in Bagash of occupied Western Armenia. The Grand Hamasyan wins to Doce Japrais Awards. Let's support Western Armenia TV. According to the statement of the then Governor, Deputy Mayor of Western Armenia, the sewage that has been flowing for years has created considerable mud on the shores of Lake Van, and in order to get rid of it, they started the process of cleaning the lake with the support of the Minister of Environment and Urban Development. Lake Van, the world's largest soda-rich lake, also known to the world by the NASA Photo Contest, is a must for anyone who wants to see its waters, beaches, and lakeside prominence. Due to the insufficient work of the existing treatment plant, Lake Van, which was seriously polluted, began to come to the fore not only because of its beauty, but also because of its pollution. Due to the measures taken by the General Department of Water Supply and Sewerage of Van Municipality to save Van Lake from pollution, the central sewage treatment plant has been put into operation. While Lake Van is free from the threat of pollution, the sludge from the wastewater spreads to the surrounding area. It is mentioned that along with the cleaning of the sludge by the above mentioned mechanism, the beaches of Lake Van would get rid of unpleasant odors. The representative of the U.S. Department of State from June 6 to 13 will visit Azerbaijan, Armenia and Georgia, RIA Novosti reports. According to the report, the Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Europe and Asia, Philip Ricker, will visit Tbilisi, Baku and Yerevan from 6 to 13 June. Ricker in Georgia will meet the government, opposition and representatives of civil society. The report says, similar meetings will be held in Armenia and Azerbaijan, where an American diplomat will discuss the Karabakh settlement. The search for the remains of servicemen killed and still missing during the hostilities continues today with the rescue squad in the Jiragan region. Since November 13, 2020, the rescuers of Artsakh have carried out search and rescue operations in all directions of the territories under the control of Azerbaijan. The search has been suspended several times in recent months for various reasons. From time to time, there is an exchange of bodies between the Armenian and Azerbaijani sites. In total, 1,557 bodies were evacuated from the territories beyond the control of Artsakh after the ceasefire. World Environment Day has been proclaimed since December 16, 1972 at the 27th session of the UN General Assembly. It is celebrated on June 5 of each year. The date of this World Day was chosen in memory of the start of the work of the Stockholm Commission, which is concerned about human environmental issues. In its decision, the General Commission calls on states and UN agencies to hold events on this day each year to reaffirm their commitment to the preservation and improvement of the environment. At the 27th session of the General Commission, a new organization was established in the UN system, the UN Environment Program. World Environment Day is celebrated every year under the auspices of UNEP. Clashes between Turkish forces and Kurdish militants continue in the Tatvan region of Bagesh of occupied Western Armenia. A Turkish soldier was killed, two were wounded in the clashes on June 3. According to Turkish media, Turkish forces killed three Kurdish militants. It is stated that the military operations of the Turkish armed forces are carried out against the Kurdistan Workers' Party military political organization, which is considered a terrorist organization in Turkey. It should be reminded that on the 2nd of June, two Turkish soldiers were killed and four others were wounded in a clash between Turkish forces and Kurdish militants. Following the clash, Turkish forces launched a large-scale airstrike operation against Kurdish militants in Bitlis. Armenian jazz pianist Tigran Hamasyan has been awarded the Doce Jazz Praise 2021 for piano keyboards and has been named International Artist of the Year. I am really honored to receive two awards from Doce Jazz Praise for my latest album The Call Within. Hamasyan says, I would like to thank the organization and jury members at Doce Jazz Praise. Also big thank you and congratulations to all the incredibly talented musicians who have been nominated and awarded this year. Dear followers, the state television company of Western Armenia addresses the Armenians spread around the world. We are not engaged in self-promotion, but present our history, our culture, the unknown and famous corners of our homeland. Now more than ever, we need national unity, the creation of our national agenda. 
The goal of all of us is to see a free, independent and united Armenia, a small cell of which we each carry. Our struggle is lasting and difficult, but the result will undoubtedly be victorious. Together we can do more. You can support the state television company of Western Armenia with the following bank accounts. Now I present you Eduard Darpinian Darcel Pilots. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.